I'm Michael Freudenberg, this is Film Masters. We're into part four of building the apprehension engine. We're gonna start seeing some more shape come together now of the sides as we're putting it together. So let's get straight into that tutorial. So we're going to lay our piece down now so that we've got the front, obviously, and then we've got our top and we've got the support sitting there. And we're gonna use our part one now. Now that's the piece that we cut, uh, that is at 20 centimeters. Now you can see where I've put part one, I've laid it on its side, and that is where we're going to put our frame. So when we're creating this, just make a mark. So I'm making the mark against the front on the back end of it, as you can see, on one corner. And that is where part one will be put. Now I'm gonna place the frame on the other end. So the two fronts touching each other. And I'm going to also mark our part one again. So it's going to be a mirror image on each side. So that's how we're going to put it together. And that is very important. So just make sure that you're marking it and you know that on the back of part three, which is our front piece, that is where we're going to be putting it. So again, I'm just gonna mark that. That's number three and number one. So number one, which is 20 centimeters long, is gonna go up against nice and flush. So mark it off. Um, and then we're gonna obviously glue it, nail it, and put a piece of wooden dowel in it as well. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna put some glue on it and I'm going to put the pieces up against our part. Uh, for both of them and just let it sit there until it hardens um, and then that will allow us to have something that's a little bit firmer uh, so we can then put nails in it and then uh, drive our wooden dowel in it. And so I'll put the other end so you can see what I'm doing. So we've got both parts laying down opposite each other. As you can see, we've got our two parts there. We've got our front number three. Um, with our part ones up against it. And then once obviously the glue has hardened or I'm not waiting for that, I'm just going to start putting our nails in to uh, put it together. And we're gonna make sure it's nice and flush. So make sure it's all lining up correctly after you put the first nail in. And then I'm gonna put the second nail in. And then once we've done that, we're going to uh, obviously uh, drill and put our wooden dowel straight in there to strengthen the part, uh, putting glue in there as well. So it's about just simply following the instructions and going ahead and uh, putting it together piece by piece uh, and putting our piece of wooden dowel in there to strengthen the part. Now, again, you don't have to do that, but the reason I'm doing that is because when I constructed the first apprehension engine, there is some slight vibrations that are coming through it, um, distortions that I didn't want to hear. And a lot of that is because of the fact that when I originally put the first one together, um, there's vibrations coming through the frames. Obviously, there's small parts vibrating. Now, using the wooden dowel is going to uh, take that vibration out of it. And again, I'm just gonna clean up that piece of wooden dowel with all the glue around it, uh, using a saw, just nicely trim it back and then sand it again. Now with each one of these tutorials that we're doing, um, once you finish making your part for that particular video, it's probably a good idea to go over with a sandpaper and sand it back and make sure it's all nice and clean. Now obviously my parts, I've got all numbers all over them. You can do the same thing. Uh, but I'm just doing that so you can see what we're doing. So I'm gonna make a measurement now. So I'm just putting a measurement of 15 centimeters along uh, the actual part two of our 28 centimeter uh, piece. Now we're using that. There's four of these obviously, and we're gonna use two of them for the back frame. So we're gonna use a, I'm putting an arrow there just obviously to show where it's going to go on the piece. So I'm gonna lay one of them down. I'm going to put my number two down to the very end. So I'll put where I'm marking now, I'm gonna put nail and glue in there first. And then where I've got this line for 15 centimeters, I'm going to use a square to put a line there. That's gonna be used as a marker to make sure that our sound board, the top part of, as you can see, I'm making slider, slight adjustments, it will sit on that piece of wood. So I'm gonna put glue in there. Obviously I'm using a vise uh, to hold my piece of timber in there. I'm putting glue on there. Um, 
on all of it. As you can see, there's a little bit of wobble there and that's gonna go when we put our part two in. So again, I'm going to nail very first part in at the very bottom. And as you can see where we've put the support timber, um, you will see that it's a little bit off where the line is. Now, the reason I'm putting a nail in there first is so when I make that adjustment on my other part, it will be flush. And then when we do it for both of those pieces, uh, that will allow us to line it up and make sure that uh, those parts are exactly 15 centimeters. So I'm doing that right now, I'm using that line as a guide. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly. If you've got a, a, a hand vise or something to hold it with, you can use that, obviously. Um, I'm just doing it freehand to show that you don't actually need a vise to do it, uh, but it can be a little bit of playing around. I'm just going to mark where the nails are going to sit on uh, both ends. So again, I'm putting two nails in for each bit on the end. I'm just going to uh, start nailing it in. I'm just going to take a different angle. Now, so again, I'm just lining it up. And once I've lined it up and I'm happy with it, I'm going to hold it and then just put that nail in. So again, if you do have a, a, a hand vise uh, or something like that, that you can hold it together and tighten it, then that's probably ideal. Um, but again, I'm just showing you can do that without using one of those. So once we've done that, um, I'll show you what we've got. We've got the two nails up the top, as you can see, keeping it nice and flush, 15 centimeters. We've got the other two nails at the base. And obviously, um, I'm just going to show you where it's going to sit on the base again. And obviously, you need to do the same with the other piece of, uh, or the other corner of the apprehension engine. So I'm going to uh, obviously drill where I want to put the wooden dowel. It's going to be right in the center again where the nails are. So wherever I put the nails, I pretty much uh, am happy with where the wooden dowel is going to be right in between them. And again, I'm just going to drill those and uh, make sure that I can uh, drill that there into the other frame as well. Now, again, we are repeating this on the other side as well. So, um, and again, I'm going to drill a uh, hole, not all the way through, unless you want to do that. Um, but just through the uh, supporting piece as well. And I'll show you where that is in a second. Just going to uh, put glue in there and then uh, put my wooden dowel into the top. Now there's three of them, obviously, that I need to put in. And now I'm putting the wooden dowel right now into where the supporting part is. I'm going to hold that so it doesn't move. It's going to knock that in as well, cut that off. And I'm just showing you that you can actually do this quite quickly. Um, I do uh, take my time trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Now you'll see part of the timber is starting to move. That's okay. Once you've knocked it all in there, just go over it and just gently tap it all back in place again. And that way it allows the glue to lock it in and settle it all in. And then obviously when you finish, go over the top of all the wooden dowel with a sander, hand sanded or electric sander if you've got one of them. Um, and then once you've done that, that piece uh, will be finished. Ready for the next step, of course. So as you can see, I've got the wooden dowel through that support piece and as well as through the two the base and the uh, top. I'm going to line both of these up now against the base. And as you can see, both sides have been done. I've added part two to both of them, uh, following the same steps as I did beforehand. Now we're going to get the measurement correct for the back end. So making sure that your sides are flush against the front and sides of our frame uh, and the base. I'm going to mark the very back end, as you can see here of the back of the frame. And then I'm gonna get uh, my other part two. So we've got two of these left and I'm going to put it up against flush at the back, as you can see, and mark in the corner right here. And that measurement right there is where we're going to measure and uh, get the correct measurement to uh, cut our necks for pieces. So here's our marking then. I'm gonna show you close up where the marks are. So in the very corners of both parts. So we've now got our part two flush at the very end uh, of our base plate. 
So I'm going to measure between these two points and then we're going to cut four pieces of timber at the same thickness as the parts we're already using. Now the reason I'm doing this is because if you've cut slightly different, uh, you might get a different measurement um, than what I'm getting. So this is going to allow you to uh, create your apprehension engine uh, as uh, close as possible to the what you're cutting. So I'm going to measure that. As you can see, I've got my measurement there. So each measurement may be slightly different to mine, depending on uh, how much uh, wastage you've got on the base plate. I'm going to mark what it is I've just measured from the base on my piece of wood. And then using a square, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and straight. And we're going to use four of these. So we're going to need four pieces. And these pieces will be put together uh, and finish our side frames. So again, we're going to need four pieces of these. And I'll show you how to put the rest of the side frames together in our next tutorial. So once you've made that cut, make sure you clean them up. Make sure they're nice and flush and they all fit perfectly. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. Now that is part four of building the apprehension engine. We're going to be uh, doing the framing and getting all that ready in our next tutorial. So if you want to become a Filmmaster sub, it's pretty simple. You can subscribe to the channel. You can like me on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it. Mm.